All right, my friend, we are live in five, four, three, two. Hey, everybody, welcome to another episode of the Slightly Warped Podcast. I'm Rick. I'm joined, as always, by Big Show. Show, how you doing? What up, man? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing pretty good, you know. Um, <clears throat> sport team aside, life is good. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm still vertical, so I got nothing to be mad about. So every day above ground's a good day. It, it is. It is. Um, couple things before we get started here. All righty. I don't know. Is there something in the water? People have been acting crazy for the last couple days. And I don't, I can't put my finger on it. It may just be me, but um, I don't know. Maybe it is just me. Maybe you haven't noticed people just acting out of character lately. Uh, Just give me, what are you talking about? Oh, just, just in general or just in general. Yeah. I, I think the full moon has been out for <laughs> for about a week or so. Yeah, people have. Uh... Yeah, yeah. And, and and the other thing, and I haven't made a decision yet, but it's been on my mind for several weeks now. Uh, contemplating scaling back on a lot of uh, social media things. And that includes uh, the uh, change forum in Facebook. I I'm considering dissolving that. Why is that? Uh, well, um, we don't get a lot of participation from people. And there's almost 400 people in the forum. But mm -hmm. I hear from the same six or seven people. So I don't know if, you know, it's one of those so, things that people are interested in. And one of the things I've been contemplating is maybe just uh, zeroing the group out and anybody who wants to get in the group, uh, you know, just uh, request uh, getting in. So the how many people are in it, you said? I, it's it, it's almost 400. It's three something. It might be 376. Okay. So we'll, we'll write it up to 400. That's fine. So there's 400 people in it. You're hearing from the same dozen people, right? Less than a dozen. Okay. So maybe the other silent people need just to see everybody else's comments and stuff to stay motivated. And, and see, that's why? part of the reason why, you know, I haven't, uh, you know, dissolved it yet because... I don't I don't expect people to just be vocal just because you're in a forum. But I just want to make sure that people are getting something out of it because I started it just for people to get something out of it, whether they are vocal about it or not. I want them to know that, you know, everyday people like you and me can strive to be fit. And it's not just physical, it's uh, mental and spiritually as well. Um, so I think you just answered your question. Go back two sentences. What did you just say? Hell, you're asking me to go back two sentences. I can't remember what I you said just, five seconds you ago. Just, you just said that you built a forum uh, for pe for ordinary people, you know, everyday yeah. people to yeah. see whether they respond or not. That's what you just said. So if you built it for that, then who cares if the 300 people aren't saying anything? Just leave it as it is. I'm one of those 300 people that aren't very vocal in that group, but I enjoy seeing the stuff out of that group. You've chimed in a time or two. so yeah, No, I, as I said, I'm not very vocal. I mean, I, I have let my voice be heard, but, you know, I still, it's not like I'm, you know, on it every day like some of the other ones are. So I would personally just leave it alone, man. You don't know who you're reaching. That's why you built it. That 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 is true. See, That's my two cents. I'd leave it the way it is. Your your wisdom helps keep me sane. Just want you to know that. 
keep and, you warped. And, and and speaking of uh, social, I shout out to everybody that's starting to listen to our podcast here. Um, we got over 124 views on last week's episode, and I know that. You know, a lot of people that are on YouTube, they're used to seeing something that's got thousands of views, even a million views, whatever. But a hundred and something views for us, that's that's a good that's thing. huge. That means we that's are trending enormous. in the right direction. Yes. Um yes. And, 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 and you know, it could be up too. It is. It also could be, you know, just the blank the way you named that that episode as well, you yeah. know, that drew Maybe we should just name everyone that and just not talk about it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> hey, thanks for tuning in. We're not going to talk about what you think, but uh, <laughs> stick around anyway. That's why it's called Slightly Warped. Hey, there you go. But, you know, to the subscribers that we have, shout out to you guys as well. Appreciate you. And we do what about the bring good com content. What about the numbers on the other avenues that we're on? Have you looked at those? I have not. I really should get to that. Uh, that might be something that I do this weekend, and I'll start with this episode and 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 go from there. Um, because we're on a lot of different podcast feeds, so I'd literally have to go through all of them and and see, or I might just go with the major ones and and see where they're at. Yeah, you know, just the you know just the major ones that you know we know are reaching a bunch of people. I'm just curious. Yeah, because it's cool to see our subscriber uh, subscribers going up, and you know that last week's episode was the most watched to our history so far. So, and that's a good thing. Yes, uh, sir. Hopefully, we can continue the trend, not bore everybody to death. No, no, and and that's part of the reason why I selected the content for today for this episode because a lot of the people that are watching on Facebook, Facebook. Got, got me still thinking about Facebook. Watching on YouTube, um, I want them to be vocal and leave a comment based on what we talk about today because they might be like, oh, you're wrong, Rick, or you're wrong, Big Show. This is the order that it should be in. You know, There's no right and wrong answer to what we're talking about today, so it's just a matter yes, of... Yes, there is. Opinion. Whatever we say goes. <laughs> oh, now I know some people are going to chime in. <laughs> So, uh, before we enter, oh, that... but just real quick, quick shout out because mm -hmm. we know they're watching. <clears throat> How about them dolphins? Okay, I'll move on. Ouch, Ow. yeah, I didn't <laughs> say it. I didn't say it. I kept my mouth shut because my team got waxed. So, I'm gonna leave that alone. Y'all were okay. at the same spa. I don't, the only difference is I'll say this. I want my team to lose. It's the only way to get rid of McDaniels. If he backdoors his way into the playoffs, I will be stuck with that dude for a decade. And I don't want mediocrity. Mm. I mean, I, I do, I've been watching them more and, you know, it's been a month, so... I can kind of see your. I mean, look at it like this: your Chiefs fan, your point of view. You've tasted success recently. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't want to go back to those Marty years. Yes, they were successful during the season, but come playoff time, they always broke your heart. This true, team but you were that in Andy the... has built. You know, beyond a shadow of a doubt, that they have a chance in any game. True, however. Back in the 90s when Marty was here. Although, yes, we went through years of gut-wrenching heartbreak in the playoffs. We were in the conversation every single year. Yeah. You, Your guys' situation is nowhere close to that. We're in the conversation guys, for the draft every single year. Right. I mean, but as for like being a competitive team, like there is no reason why you guys shouldn't be. You have the talent um, at, at some positions, you know, yeah. Uh, yeah. granted, you know, you are not the strongest team, but you're not the weakest team. You're not the Bears. But I mean, I would almost pick the Bears to whoop y'all's ass. I mean, it's just 
and, and the the way you guys are playing the and I'm gonna admit the coaching decisions are a little sus. Ain't gonna I lie. Mean, start with quarterback, bro. Are you, did we get an upgrade? Because we're averaging 17 points a game. Under Carr, we average 23 points a game. True, but both Carr and both Garoppolo got hurt in the same week. Neither one of them played last week. Yeah. So it's the same team. I mean, same same quarterback. Same guy. Yeah, it's the same guy, just different jersey colors. Uh, but it's the old Superman I'm, thing. Yeah. You've never seen Superman and Lo- and Clark at the same time. <laughs> Why? Exactly. <laughs> But I I think that you know your your whole complaint about your coaching staff, man. Like I said, I'm beginning to understand your frustration. Uh, but my thing is, who who are you going to get to replace him? That's the part that makes it gut wrenching. You want him out, but you can't just say you need such and such in his place. There is no such and such right now. No no standout coach that I know of that A, would be willing to go to Vegas or would be available to go to Vegas. And I know... The, the only one I see the, is Harbaugh Eric Bieniemy. Okay, I was going to say Harbaugh. His name comes up. But he's not Oh, I would, I would love for Harbaugh to come to coach the Raiders. Oh, that would be so much fun. That'd be another five, six years of you guys losing. That'd be awesome. <laughs> and that's what I'm trying to avoid. I think the enemy could build us a cold offense, but I need our defense to stop being in the high twenties to rank ranked anywhere between the high twenties all the way to 32 year in and year out. That has plagued us for almost two decades. I I can't argue with you. All right. Since we're on the subject of football, we're going to get football out of the way here. Um, we'll start with the lowest of the low. Denver finally got off the snide. Did they really deserve to, though? I mean, that game I mean, was I, the Bears game, and they, it was the Bears blew it. And as and as crappy as both teams are, that was a very entertaining football game. Uh, just from a pure football standpoint, just watching the other team come back. Um. But somebody had to win. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, it doesn't get any better for the Broncos coming up. Yeah, enjoy the win. Uh, I'm not sure who they play Sunday, but I'm going with whoever they play, period. I want to say it's the Commanders, but. No, the Commanders, I I believe, are playing the Bears this uh, Thursday. Uh, I still got the commanders then. Matter of fact, uh, I'll look it up because I got you right here. Okay. Yeah, Thursday night the Bears are at the fighting B enemies. And then let's see here. The Broncos will be at home versus the New York Jets. Jets are going to win that game. Um, the Jets made a crucial, two crucial mistakes, if you want to call it two. And they they could have came back against the world champs. They didn't. And I say two crucial mistakes. Yes, I know the QB played above his head. I don't think he'll play that good again for a couple weeks. But it was the uh, pass interference call that doomed them. Now, you can say it was a call. It wasn't a call. It shouldn't have been called. I mean, get your hands off the dude, period. If your hands are right, and I'm not even a Chiefs fan, but I'm going to say get your hands off the dude or you're going to get that flag thrown. Yeah, I mean, it was a ticky-tack call, but, I mean, it's the NFL. Um, yeah. But I also feel, you know, we kept, the Jets in the game too with and, as many you turnovers can't say, as we you had. Can't say the refs gave it to Kansas City because Kansas City got called for a face mask that wasn't a face mask in the end zone. Yes, he correct his face man at 
excuse me, face mask at the one yard line. Yeah, and he didn't get flagged until they were in the end zone. So game two points. Yep. Yeah. So so yeah, I, you're picking. Just, I'm gonna go ahead and pick the Broncos to get their second win. I just think I, I'm not convinced that the Jets are gonna put two good showing offensive and defensive performances together. Mm. So I'll go Broncos on this one. Okay. Well, we got a different Chargers. Chargers have a bye, it looks like. Ooh, they get an early bye, huh? Yeah, it looks like I'm not seeing them on the schedule. Chiefs are at the Vikings. Um, If you would have told me five weeks ago that this game was coming up, I would have been like, this is going to be good. This is going to be a shootout. No, it's not. No, it's not. I don't know what's wrong with the Vikings offense. If you can shut down Justin Jefferson, you got the game in the bag. Kirk Cousins will do something Kirk Cousins like and give the game away. Yeah, I see the Chiefs winning as well. I think it's going to be another type Jets. Like we're going to, it's going to be the same type of game. We're going to like a twenty four seventeen game. You know, I'll say that again. Like a twenty four to seventeen game. Yeah, but I mean, like the play call, like you know, Mahomes throwing interceptions that he has no business throwing. You know what I mean? Or it's going to be a tip pass for a pick or something like that. You know, I I see something like that. I don't see us going in there and dominating. I do see us winning uh, and going I, I to four and Mahomes one. Will play much better. Um, please, Lord. Don't let Taylor Swift come to Minnesota because the camera will be on her for the whole game. <laughs> I really think that Mahomes will play better. Kelsey will play better. Number 74. Can he go penalty free for a game? Now he's getting picked on, man. He's getting looked at by the refs, by the way he lines up. Like everybody, every other lineman in the country does. And he's being made... Um, He's being made a uh, scapegoat type of thing. But he's always been at the top two or three of penalized players in the NFL. Mm, Actually, both our that. tackles were, yeah, number one and number two last year, the two tackles that we selected, or, I mean, picked up in free agency, uh, were number one and number two in penalties called against them last year. I'll say this. But, Kansas City, but they're better than Orlando penalties. Brown. Yeah. Those five yard penalties don't really hurt Kansas City because they can get all that back in one play. So, I you know I like I it, some you know some of them are ill timed, but you know so far, you know it's kind of I overlook it. You know it'll hit us when we don't need it to. Yeah, and then uh, looks like the last game of the week is your Raiders are at home versus the Green Bay Packers on Monday Night Football. God, I want to pick the Raiders for that, but I can't do it until we get that secondary figured out. Is your quarterback going to be playing? He didn't get hit that hard that he should be out two weeks. He should pass the concussion protocol. Is that why he was out, was concussion yes. protocol? Because mm-hmm. he got his bell rung in the game last week, but he finished the game. So, yeah, dude, you're all right. It, it's Jimmy Garoppolo being Jimmy Garoppolo. I've got to get hurt at some point in the season. That's why I was curious. Was it actually the the uh, concussion protocol? Yeah. You know what? I'm a, I'm going to go ahead and say that your Raiders are, are going to be prepared for this game. The coaches are going to be ready to coach, and they're still going to lose. The Packers are going to win this game. I can't argue that right now. They haven't shown me anything that would tell me different. I'm going with the Packers as well. That I think you want them to lose just so you can have Caleb Williams as your quarterback next year. I want them to lose so that McDaniels won't be the coach next year. We'll worry about who's going to be the coach during the offseason. How how loyal is uh, the the owner? Mark Davis said publicly that he's still hurting over the Gruden thing. That's how loyal he is. So, so you, you know, so you might be stuck with this cat for a couple of years, still. Might be. I mean, 
it's going to come down to is there a viable replacement and is he going to run them into the ground like he did the Broncos Dang, that is right. He ruined two AFC West organizations. Man, keep it. Maybe he can coach the Chargers next. He screwed over Indianapolis by taking the job and then quitting a week later. So, you yeah, know. but not not really. He never he never donned the Indianapolis Indianapolis baseball cap. That's true. <laughs> or in so, his case, a visor. That don't count. No, but they had to scramble and get somebody else. But no different than Belichick did to the Jets. That is true. I guess he wanted to follow, uh, truly follow in Belichick's footsteps. But yep. if he's going to do that, I'm going to need our defense to play better. And I don't know what it is about the defense that they don't seem to grasp. I mean, we get ran on and we get passed on. We really get passed on. I mean... Are, are we purposely picking slow safeties and corners in the draft? What's up? I can't argue anything that you're saying because, yeah, they're 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 hot garbage, steaming hot. All right, that's all I can say about the Raiders because I'll get sick to my stomach if I continue. Talk to me about Ahsoka episode seven. How did you like it? I really did like it. Um... I I like kind of where it's going. It's it's kind of a bummer that tonight's going to be the final episode of the season, and you know we didn't get enough of Thrawn and his uh you know whatever his plans are. But I like I like the groundwork where it's going for uh, season two and beyond. What do you expect to see out of the finale? I don't know because they're kind of steering clear from cannon fodder that we know and love and pushing off into a deep intergalactic area of, you know, that, like I said last week, that Star Wars has never actually ever tapped into. Um, so I really don't know. I hopefully, you know, they'll maybe we'll, maybe we'll see a Luke Skywalker something i mean, i don't know i'm 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 hoping maybe they're gonna set up the heir to the empire trilogy type series i don't know i'm looking i'm looking forward to it i just really have no idea where we're going with it i would like to know balen's uh you know what's his goal out of this because obviously they're gonna have to end it since the actor actually is dead in real life unless they replace him with somebody else Mm, that'd be difficult yeah it would but not impossible he's not a legacy character true that um i know that every question will be answered but i'm curious to see if the heroes get left or if they make it to Thrawn's ship before he takes off i also want to know what the hell is in those containers Yes. I was curious about that as well. The theory that I saw online about those is those are dead troopers and the witches will bring them back. Don't know if that's accurate. I think that started because of the troopers are wearing those uh the red around their uh uniforms and that has to do with the witches, but I'm not sure. Like, like I told you last week. If if it turned into some deep space Walking Dead bullshit, I'm done. Yeah, um, I I will be done. I mean, it's really going to depend on how they handle that. No, no, there there is no way that they can handle it. it I'm done. Now, I will say this: I need there to be a lot of action in this final episode I need to really really see what Ezra can do now that he's been uh, marooned for basically seven years Mm -hmm. I want to see how far he's come and I'm going to need Sabine to you know fess up say hey um, 
yeah, I, I came with Thrawn. I didn't come with Ahsoka. See how he takes that. We'll see. We will see. Now, segueing from Ahsoka to the rest of the Star Wars world, how would you rank all the live action properties of Star Wars? The nine movies, the, well, I guess you could say 11 movies if you count Solo and Rogue One, and uh, include the, um, the TV shows as well. How would you rank them? Like one through whatever or yeah, yeah, overall? One, one through whatever. Um, the only one I can't, the only one I can't speak on is the Andor series. Cause I never watched it. Yeah. Um, seen it. Question is, will I watch it again? I might watch a, the last couple of episodes before season two starts, but season two, they say is supposed to really ramp up the action because it does directly lead into Rogue one. And we'll see if so this is all before uh Rogue One Andor is? Yes. Okay. Spoilers. Then I might and, and I might dead at the end of Rogue One. True. Well Yeah, the planet blew up. Or that, that city on the planet blew up. Him and Jin were laying on the beach as the uh explosion came towards them. Was that Andor? Yeah, Cassie at the end Andor. of Rogue One? Mm-hmm. I thought that was the home planet. Is that the home planet of Organa? No, no, no. You're no. You're thinking of Alderaan. Andor yeah, I thought that was. Cassian. That wasn't Alderaan. The Death Star was moving that direction. But right, but I thought the I thought the Death Star was what destroyed it, and they were on the planet as it was destroyed. No, I were, that's what I thought. A, they were on a different planet. They were on a different planet. Remember uh... when they capture Princess Leia in the first episode? And then they'll uh, blow up Alderaan right in front of her. You're right. See, I always thought that they were on the planet, uh, that all that had happened. But you're no, right, because after that Sarah's. happened, they were on. Sarah. That's when, that's when you see uh, the Darth Vader coming on and the the digital version of Leia. Right. That's yes. what you see at the end of Rogue One. Yeah. Yes. Um, movie. You know, just use the first nine movies. We'll just rank those. Obviously, <clears throat> seven, eight, nine, completely at the bottom of the list and you know even further below that list if there was a possibility for me the, those three movies um for me completely ruined the story uh the skywalker saga story for me um I'm especially right. since especially since ray's not skywalker she's a palpatine so it really Oh, she's um, a Skywalker now because she chooses that for her last name. Just because she, yeah, right, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I like to wear dresses and call me Mary. It doesn't make me a girl, okay? Just because I say I am. Um, that yes, being said, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that being said, I hope, and I know that I've read that they're not going to do anything to fix episode seven, eight, nine, but I pray to Jesus that they change their mind and do something different. Um, now being a kid, episode four, five, and six growing up watching it, you know, we were children or young, um, that, that was the bee's knees, man. Time seventies, eighties, you know, we, we were like, that was like the stuff, you know, um, I, I, I like how star Wars new hope was kind of slow. Empire strikes back was really, really good. And Return of the Jedi was just under Empire Strikes Back. So if I had to rank them, uh, you know, four, five, and six for me in order, five, six, four would be how I like them. Uh, we are just a little bit different on there. I got five, four, six. And, and I guess I like A New Hope better than Return of the Jedi. Because it's just a nostalgic thing with me. I mean, no, that makes I just like films I, in general and everything i like six just slightly better than four just because um of the way you know how they start off getting han solo out of job of the hut you know and all that stuff and yeah. then 
Um, yeah, make no mistake about it. it had good pacing a lot of action so yeah yeah and the you know the the, the father-son routine between luke and 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 darth vader fantastic yeah. episodes one two and three if i put all of them together one through not you know one through nine mm-hmm. uh you know it it'd probably be you know two three uh five six four uh one seven eight nine that's how i'd rank those just because the phantom menace overall sucked so that last 15 minutes yeah so he so they got ready to fight darth maul and all that yeah it's a you know the stupid crap with jar jar binks and blah 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 and the little young anakin who they could have found a better actor to do it shit you know I just the whole pod racing thing. Who cares? <laughs> that was Lucas flexing his muscle, saying, "This is what I can do digitally." Yeah, Pretty but much. it's storytelling blue. Cl- uh, Clone Wars, top of the list. Revenge of the Sith, top of the list. And see, I uh, I look at Revenge of the Sith slightly better, slightly better. Than Attack of the Clones because um, I just remember seeing Hayden in that Darth Vader suit for the first time. It's like, yeah, yeah, get off the table, get mad, get mad. Uh, you know. Yeah, the difference though is we already knew what Darth Vader looked like. Yeah, that's true. We already knew who what he was about. Why I put clones above that is because we got to see Yoda fight for the first time. That is true. That is true. With his little bit yeah. of self getting up and down and all around. Yeah. You know, that's that that was to me, you got to see, you know, these iconic Jedi's that you've been watching as a kid finally get their, you know, get their hands dirty. Plus I liked uh I liked how uh Django Fett and that fight between him and Obi Wan in the rain before he took off. That was clone, yeah. yep, that was a good one. Yep. Yeah. So um it, it had some although he could Although Mace Windu didn't even play with him, so <laughs> no, lopped his dome clean off. Yeah, <laughs> surprise, mother. <laughs> <laughs> now, seven, eight, and nine. Yeah, they are at the bottom of the list. I will say, seven redeeming qualities was it reintroduced us all to Star Wars. It gave us hope. The problem is, in the next episode, they took all that hope away. Yeah, the where, although I do like the way, I mean, I don't like the way Luke died. Um, in that one, yeah, they made him, but I do, but I do like his whole projecting his his self through the force, uh, in the fight scene on that salt planet, wherever they were at. Uh, I I liked, I liked that whole idea, yeah, uh, of it, but it was poor, yeah, him, you know. That took all of the force that he had in his body and that just wiped him. Yeah. Miss me with that BS. That That's just, no. What hurt me for eight and nine, I know we're running short on time, but I'll get this out quickly. I've said this before a dozen times. I agree with you with Ray. She's got unlimited power. It seems like, let me pick up a lightsaber and I can just like beat the hell out of Kylo Ren. No, you can't. That dude's had years of training. You you've known Han Solo and Chewbacca for all of a day, and you got the lightsaber. And how is this possible? And, and the other thing, they wasted opportunity with Finn. You have a stormtrooper that defected. Do you know what I could write about that? But nobody he, cares about that. Like as a Star Wars fan, I didn't care about him. I cared about him. You know. No, I mean, but who cares? He's a star. He's a stormtrooper. The defective. He joined the good guys. What else is there to write? Well, I would expect he would know some of the ins and outs of the Empire, something like that. I mean, just give us... This isn't the Empire. This is the New Order. Ah, that's true. That's true. I keep forgetting that sometimes. It's a whole new thing, yeah. Yeah, So, I mean, in what he did know... That was the other thing. How did the New Order form? I mean... I mean, well, you're learning that now in the Ahsoka series and in the Mandalorian series. We're learning how all that happened uh, because uh, uh, not Tarkin, Gideon, Moff Gideon 
has is in, was instrumental in in creating that. Yeah, that's true. And I'm sure that we're going to see Thrawn has something to do with that as well. Oh, I'm sure he will. I'm sure he will. Go Dave Filoni. We needed you. I, you know, and then as for the series is, you know, like the Mandalorian, I think, you know, as series is set alone by themselves, they're really, really good. Uh, Solo. It was all right. Take it or leave it. You know, it's all right. Take it or leave it is a great way to describe that. Yeah. I absolutely loved Rogue One, though. I thought that was great. It was a well put together movie all the way around. Standalone movie in the series. Loved it. Yeah, I had no problem with that. No problem whatsoever. Guess what, kids? Next week we're doing all the Star Trek movies. Just kidding. Just kidding. No, we ain't. (laughs) It'll be a one man show because I ain't got nothing to say. I got something to say, but Star Trek fans may not like it. Say it. It's our show. All right. I, I look. I don't have anything against Star Trek, but uh, I'm all. I'm down with the wars. I'm down with the wars, not the Trek. Uh, I have watched Strange New Worlds. It's a very good show, but one show can't redeem an entire series. That's all. I'm I agree. About that. Before we get out of here, like, share, subscribe, show. Take us on out of here. Grab the people you love. Tell them you love them. Tomorrow's not promised. We'll see you next week. I thought he was going to say, grab the people you love and shake them. <laughs> Good night, everybody. <laughs> Later show. See you, buddy. And cut. Good one as always. I'm going to promote the hell out of this. See if we can get 100 views again. 10-4. All right. I'll talk to you soon. All right. <laughs>